All right, it is Friday, which means it is time for. Who are the people in your neighborhood? In your neighborhood? In your neighborhood? Say, who are the people in your neighborhood? The people that you meet each day. I hope our guest brought a very hot fire to burn you so you'll stop dancing like an idiot. No, no, no. She didn't bring fire here. Cannot bring fire to the studio, mother damn it. Um, welcome our special guest this morning. Her name is Jace from SG Brisket Kitchen, one of the few female pit masters in Singapore. Good morning, Jace. Hey, Jace. Hi, good morning. Thanks for joining us early in the morning. I, 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 is this your usual time uh, that you wake up or, or no? It's actually way earlier. Uh, it's of course. earlier than my pet rooster. Yeah. <laughs> earlier than your pet rooster, which you wanted to bring along. But thank goodness you didn't because, uh, you know, it could have ended up on the on the roast. So yeah, I mean, it's hot didn't. commodity right now. Exactly, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Apparently, now, apparently that, is, uh, that is something that you, you, you keep, a pet rooster. Very, very, very cute. Now, Jace is a rare female pit master and uh, you yeah. actually uh, uh, specialize in Texan-style barbecue. Ex- explain that. What, what, what wow. is a Texan-style barbecue? So, basically, I just smoke with wood and charcoal. Mm. Wow. And this is like the most um, primitive way to do it. Okay. Yep, okay. And, yep, 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 and the yep. seasoning that we use, I mean, I use it, mm-hmm. for, um, it's just salt and pepper. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah. So, that's so, my favorite. N- <laughs> it's no, no, that really, because simple. I, I, you know, I, yeah, I, I don't like, uh, not say I don't like, but, you know, I, 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 I'd rather it be just salt and pepper and, right. and not with any sauces. All natural. All natural, All natural yeah, right? Yeah. I love it. Whoa. Wow. Um, and, and by the way, if you're watching us on Class 95's uh, Facebook page, mm. uh, we are going to actually try. Uh, Jace's brisket in a while. That's right. She, she, she's brought a very unique uh, cooking style to, to, to heat up the meat uh, here in the studio she, and uh, she's we'll brought explain it in. it in a while. But let's talk about being a pit master. Mm. I mean, first of all, very few people, I think, think that, oh, when I grow up, I want to barbecue things for a living. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. it, it, it's not even something that crosses your mind. So, the only person I know who wants to do that are arsonists. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? But, but you decided to make this your, your living, your career. How did and, that even happen? Yeah, why, why do you want to do it? Yeah. Well, um, because when I was in Girl Guides, right, I yeah. mean, it exposed me to like um, survival cooking. Yeah, yeah. So we do this like outside in the in the in the field, out mm-hmm. in the field, and we dig a hole, and then after that, <laughs> 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 dig a hole to put um, dry leaf and wood and twigs in, and then yeah. that's how you set up and heat up a fire every day. Yeah, and it was yeah. very fun because I got I love hang, hang uh, like you know taking an axe and then just uh, splitting the logs and everything. Right. So when you get when you graduated and then you get back into the working society, there's no chance that you can do such things. Right, yeah. right. So, and then so in Singapore, what we barbecue, chicken yeah. wings, chicken satay. Wings. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You go East Coast. You yeah, book, exactly. You book a barbecue pit. Exactly. You know? yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it kind of like got a little bit boring because my family always hosts this kind of barbecue stuff. Yeah, and they're yeah, like, yeah. huh, again. Uh. <laughs> 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 so it got a little bit boring. And then I, I went to Google and see what else I can do. And that's wow. where I, I stumbled upon smoking. And you know, it's like 20 over hours, eh? it's crazy, right? And I was yeah. like, wow, these people, how can they do this type of things? Look at me here. Right. Amazing. Yeah. So you turn it into a career, mm-hmm. right? To, to, to smoke meats for a living, right? Yeah. And yeah, tell us about that process. You mentioned 20 over hours. I mean, it I know... It's re- insane. That's too long to wait to eat. I it? know restaurants, <laughs> restaurants do it, but you know, they have industrial, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. How do you do it, you know, with that amount of time? Like, don't you need to sleep? Yeah, so I will just stay here and, uh, mm. you know, and to monitor the temperature and that's yeah. actually the most important thing. Right. Yeah. So, um, I started this when I still had a full-time job. So, mm. I started from wow. home base. Wow. So, I can only do it after, on Friday, after I come back from work and then I will do it all the way until to Saturday morning. Oh, wow. Yeah, or sometimes it will drag on to, I mean, sorry, to the afternoon actually, right. to Goodness. the afternoon and evening. Right. Yeah, it's just crazy. Like, um, mm. I, I, I just can't imagine me quitting the job and then doing this full time now so I, I, I gotta go back to the question yeah it, it sounds like you're saying it, it's a terrible decision you've made <laughs> why did you decide to do it then why but, did you quit a full time job yeah obviously to... it isn't right so so so, so cool yeah? Yeah. yeah but you know I don't know I just I don't know what, what, what got into me into this but it's just a good opportunity for me to just go into it wow. like Life is short, right? Just yeah. do whatever you like and do whatever you yeah. want just, now. Just do what you love. Yeah. Well, obviously, I, you have a, a, a huge passion for, for doing what you yeah. do. I mean, you know, doing anything for 20 hours straight, you, it's got to take some kind you of You've got to love doing yeah, it. Right? I love doing and it. And how yeah. long has it been that you started SG Brisket Kitchen? Uh, more than a year. More than a year. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. okay. Yeah. And, you know, we mentioned this just now. You're one of the few female pitmasters in Singapore. Yeah. Like, like, why do you think 
there aren't as many females in the field as, as guys. It's quite uh, physically demanding. Right. Uh, right. Uh, you know, ladies love manicured hands and fingers, <laughs> sorry, and nails. And there's no way that I can do that because my hands are always dirty. Right. And, and it's always right. like, you know, sometimes my face will get sooty and like, yeah, 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 <laughs> I got yeah, charcoal yeah. over, I smell smoky, yeah. if you like that kind of smell, wow. <laughs> you know. Sure. So, it's, it's kind of this type of things. And you know, the meat that I'm carrying is like uh, one piece, of, one slab of brisket can be 8 to 12 kilo. Wow. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So, and okay. this is the kind of things that probably, you know, ladies won't really want to go into it. But mm. Okay. Yeah. Wow. No, oh, you've made that decision and, and we're thankful for it. In fact, we're going to get to try oh. uh, a little bit of uh, what uh, Jace does for a living in, in, in a few moments. I actually I can't, can't wait. wait for that. Yeah. And we'll, uh, we'll come back on air in just a little while to mm. talk about how, you know, anyone who's interested in this, because obviously this is how you go to school for it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, how you can learn this process if you, if you have a passion for it. We'll get back to that. And of course, We'll taste test uh, Jace's brisket. Has Can't her, wait. Has her over one year of 20 hour smoking days yeah, man. been worth it or not? <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll see. <laughs> if you join us on Class 95's Facebook page right now, uh, we're still going to be live while the songs are playing. And then that's when we'll start heating up the brisket and all that oh, yeah. live in the studio. It's people in our neighborhood here in Class 95, Atomic Kitten, and the tide is high. All right, so uh, thanks everybody again for uh, joining us in Class 95's uh, Facebook page. Uh, Jace, once again, thank you for, for coming in. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to be checking out the brisket right now. That's right. Now, let's take a walk over to your what you've brought for us today. Yes. Okay, so um, let's... Uh, Let's take a look at this, Martin. Okay, so so what have you brought for us in this uh, lovely bag? I, I see bread. Yeah. Number okay. one, you need some bread. The, this really? one you can buy from Petro Kiosk. So I, I, yeah, you know it's from Petro Kiosk. Hey, no, but, 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 but why, why bread? bread? I've never eaten beef brisket with bread. Is it a thing? <laughs> He's no, so cool. A, it's, it's I always eat it with bread. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's okay. a thing. It's a thing. Eating sure, meats sure, with sure. bread is, is a thing. Sure, sure, sure. Now, sure. Look, look at all the... Okay, now, now I'm looking at the packaging. It, it's very... Professionally done in these really cool uh, uh, black color uh, plastic containers. It's smoked beef brisket and pork taster set. Ooh. Okay, and uh, you've got two of these now. Now, what do we do with? I don't want to eat a box. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so, so let's open it up. Mm -hmm. And here you go. Oh my goodness! Should I open this one? Yeah, as well? yes, yes. Okay, okay. Wow. Uh, wow! You can. Okay, why can I open it? Ah, oh, there you go. Sorry. No problem. Wow. Look at that, baby. Immediately, when, when, when you lift the lids of, of these containers, mm -hmm. the smell that hits you in the face is okay, okay. incredible. I got I to gotta smell you this. See, you see the greedy yeah. fella? You run That's all cool. the way from You're supposed to be doing your job. Look at wow. Just smell that. That, that is the smell of good meats. Now, now explain uh, the meats to us. Okay, so right here you have like uh, the brisket mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that has been smoked for over 20 hours. Oh my word. This is a little bit special, seasonal special that okay. I brought in for you guys. Um, beef cheeks. Beef cheeks! Beef yes. cheeks! Those Whoa. are the, like the most tender part of the beef. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then over here you got a small portion of the smoked pork with uh, Canadian maple and uh, cherry wood. Oh so, God. and then some of the smoked beans. This smoked beans and chickpeas has been like smoked for more than 16 hours under meat dripping. So it's infused with all the meat oh, drippings. Oh my, my God. Word. That sounds incredible. Now, how long would you say it took you to do the like the bris the meats? Like how long was the smoking process? Wow. I mean, to add up everything, yeah. like the pork took yeah. me like uh, 18 hours. <gasps> the brisket oh. took me like 20, 20 or 22 hours. hours. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So every meat is different. It depends on their mood, not my mood. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you just dare to, to heat up the fire. And, exactly. And Sure I'm, I'm okay. there to serve them, actually. <laughs> now, okay. Now, now, it comes in these plastic containers. How, mm. how are we going to, you know... Do, okay, so, the so I, I came out of this way because I'm somebody very lazy. So, mm -hmm. I try to minimize uh, washing yeah, exactly like everything. Me, way, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think lazy people sometimes come out with the most ingenious uh, Yeah, we have to be creative, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, just uh, not to So, work. this okay. is the, the heat, heating pack. Okay. Uh, basically, you just uh, open it up. Okay, okay, let's let's this is like doing my own high tea lao at home that night of pot, right? Exactly. And this is like probably the first in the world that um, is not high tea lao but it's like smoked meat instant smoked meat wow. you come up with this wow lazy people wow, that's really ideas. ingenious <laughs> so, so is this what you send to customers when they order from you uh, not really so this is a special edition just for you guys wow. so when I have like road shows and I want people to try the meat mm -hmm. like like on the spot uh, yeah. I will just do this as well so okay. kind yeah. so kind okay. Okay, and then what on. do we do now okay so uh, here you just add in the water to the water line here. Okay. Okay, right, just right. pour it in. 
All right, self-heating pots, baby. Yeah. One of the best okay. inventions in history. Done. And okay. then you just put it on top. <laughs> put, oh, it right. put it back in. Put it on top. Yeah. Okay, and go. it's going to take a couple of minutes to heat up, right? Uh, about seven to eight minutes. Okay. Yeah. And right. then you can cover this back loosely so that right. we don't burn ourselves later in case okay, it's okay. too tight. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Ooh, I'm, yeah, I'm, you I'm, can look hear at that. that. I'm excited. Am I going to set the smoke alarm with us? <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll kill the smoke alarm this week. <laughs> I, I don't, I'll destroy the smoke alarm. Okay. No, it's, not, it's, not, it's not very smoky. Uh, okay, so we're, we're allowing the self-heating pot to heat up right now. Um, just, uh, just for the sake of our timing, we may not be able to give it seven or eight minutes to heat up. Uh, we will probably let it heat up for about five minutes five and then minutes, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll try it already, okay? So, fantastic, fantastic. So, guys, if you're watching on Facebook Live right now, look at that, look at that pot. It's self-heating. Now, uh, Jace, very quickly, uh, while we're waiting for it to heat up and uh, we'll go back live on air for a chat, right? Mm -hmm. um, for people who order the, the food from you, uh, as you say, you, they don't get the self-heating uh, pot. Right. How do they heat it up? So, again, another lazy method. So, what I did is that I came up with the way of vacuum packing the meat, right? Because uh -huh. oh. I really hate to do dishes. Like, I don't have a helper at home. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, know oh exactly gosh, what I, you mean. I just don't want to describe, like, the washing process, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. So, it's like in a, in a sous vide bag. Uh -huh. So, it's of a thicker, uh, higher density. So, okay. you can withstand the heat. Okay. So, basically, you just put it into a steamer. 15 minutes, that's it. Wow. Mm. Gao tim. Gao, gao tim is <laughs> the oh word. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And, and you know, sometimes I got so lazy I'll just like cut cut the uh, pack out mm -hmm. I don't even want to pour it into the plate and so you just eat it just eat it from the pack <laughs> nice I, I like this style okay amazing now, now, now having said and done all this uh, yeah, yeah. How many orders do, do you take on a, on a regular basis? And uh, do you see this as a sustainable business that mm. you can keep doing for, for years and years to come? Mm. Well, to be honest, I give myself a six months uh, timeline to focus full time into this. Mm. If I can't, you know, take this like brisket, like food uh, to a more sustainable business because, mm -hmm. you know, it's long hours and yeah. Yeah. pretty laborious, you know. So I'll go back to the corporate world. Like now I'm saying like anybody who wants to hire me, please come and let me know. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> Oh, but, but, I mean, but but this is this is something like I mean, if 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 the taste is there mm. and people are are, are, are ordering it uh, every day, it is it is, it can be sustainable. Right? Well, like uh, usually, I'm on the worst case scenario kind of mentality. Right. Okay. You okay. never right. know what is going to happen. Right. Yeah, for sure, so, for sure. Okay. So, but, but so yeah. I, I mean, uh, 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 thus far, it, it's you know, helped you maintain a healthy living and everything like, like I'm not I'm not drawing a salary for myself yet because like right now I just want to make sure that all the all the Everything all the revenue right and, and, and everything is just going back to the business. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So, okay, okay. Yeah. The commitment That's a big step, yeah. Oh man, the commitment level is amazing. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, we are going uh, live back on the radio in about uh, forty five seconds, guys. Yeah. And then how long has that been uh, heating up? About five minutes. It, it's already been five it's minutes. It's been about five oh, okay, minutes. Okay, 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 yeah. okay, great. So by the time uh, try, we, we go back, we're, we're, we're going to be able to try it in, in just a little while. Mm. So very, very, very excited. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you heard my stomach growling uh, yeah. a bit the, just now. Yeah. The only good news is I, I'm very happy that uh, no food is allowed on that side of the table. Oh, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a rule here in uh, uh, Mediacorp. So hey. you stand over there and watch <laughs> me eat, Martin. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Woo! Oh, here know. we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to go back live on air right here on Class 95. Code Red and what good is a heart on Class 95, Singapore's number one English radio station. Muttons in the morning, driving you to work on a Friday. Yeah, when I do my uh, eat my meats, you know, I, I throw away the heart, I throw away the innards, and I just <laughs> concentrate on the meat itself. Yeah. What good is oh. a heart? And of course, when it comes to smoking meats, uh, a lot of people tell me that there's no better part to smoke than the brisket. Oh yeah, that's, that's for the, sure. It's very, very tender. It almost melts in your mouth. And that's what we're going to try from Jace. People in our neighborhood today, and we actually have our first live guest for people in our neighborhood. It's been a while. It's been a very long it's while. It's been a while. Now, during the songs, uh, 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 thank you for everyone who joined us on Class 95's Facebook page for mm -hmm. our, our live session. Um, uh, in fact, we're still live. You can check out the self-heating pots right now, just like one of those uh, steamboat Haiti Lao you do Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, uh, it's, it's heating up the meats that uh, Jace has kindly brought in for us to, to yes. savour and try. Uh, I... It is incredible that, mm. that, that you come up with these uh, the, the very cool concepts on, on how to heat up the meats and everything. Yeah, It can't be easy for someone like me who can't even cook an egg to save my life. 
you know, when, when, if I order from from uh, someone like you who who obviously does all the the the, the smoking of the meats at home, mm. and then it gets delivered to me, you know, the first thing I, I'm going to look at the meat is like, oh, how do I make it hot? And, and you've come up with some very creative solutions as well. Now, this special thing that we're doing right here right now is something that you brought just for today. But usually, it comes in these heating uh, uh, sous vide bags? Yeah, so it comes chilled and vacuum packed. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so basically you just like throw the entire pack into the steamer for 15 minutes mm-hmm. or you can heat up some water like put it into a hot water bath. Yep, yep, yep. 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 So Amazing. to minimize all the dishwashing. Amazing. I, Amazing. I, I like the way you think. Jace, of course, <laughs> is one of the few female pit masters in Singapore. Mm. Yes, someone who barbecues for a living. Fantastic. That's, that's just phenomenal, right? But uh, so, Jace, you're, you're called SG Brisket Kitchen. Um, is there, so currently you, you, do it, you still do it from home. No, is no, I, I actually rented a SFA licensed kitchen. So oh. I've already changed it to a kitchen, like a licensed facility. To, to like, do this Yeah, proper. within okay. six months of like doing a home-based business. Oh, it just wasn't sustainable to do it from home, right? Yeah, I mean, exactly. Yeah. I mean, mm. I need a proper license as well. Yeah, Licensing yeah. is very important because SFA in Singapore is quite uh, strict. Yes. Yeah, so okay. I just wanted to go into that, that direction. That's fantastic, right. wow. And, and did, did you, did you, do you have plans to do like a proper restaurant or this is, this is where you want to go, like? Like I don't give whole... myself like huge goals, you know. Right, to, right, to own right, a right. restaurant, to have a like, mm. you know, to serve dining customers and everything, you really need a lot of capital. So I'm taking Absolutely. baby steps right now. That's fantastic. So yeah. for now, when people want to eat your uh, briskets, your smoked porks, your she, she even I don't I don't know if you heard her say just now. She even does these smoked beans with all the drippings. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh. that sounds incredible. She's brought it for us uh, like, today, so like we can't it. wait to try that. Um, if people want to do it, they just order online and you get delivered to them. Yeah, that's right. Okay. How, how did they get in touch with you again? Yeah, uh, They can go to my website or mm-hmm. Instagram or Facebook, SG Brisket Kitchen. SG and, you know kitchen. everything. Everything is just there. Feel free to DM me as well. Fantastic, right? So, so let let's let's uh, you know b- before we sample your 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 wonderful mm. meats and all that. Mm. Let's ask you this: If someone is listening right now and 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 says to themselves, "I want to be like Jace," I, I you know I've yeah. always had an interest in, in, in smoking meats and, and doing a nice barbecues for for family members. I want to take it to the next level and and make it a business. Mm. What advice would you give to someone like that? Because you did it yourself. So, so yeah. what advice would you give to someone who, who yeah. wants to try this and make it a living? Like, start small. Right. Um, yeah, really start small and then be prepared to fail. Like, the money that you put in, mm. don't put in too much. Mm. Uh, I, in fact, I started with like $1,000. One oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I, yeah. all my businesses, all my side hustles, I don't really put in a lot of money because I just mm. think that, you know, just keep it small and tight. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I think that's the way uh, it also helped me to be more resourceful as well. Right. You know, to source right. something that's cheaper, you know, of mm-hmm. better quality and everything yeah. and to do everything myself. So, you know, handling all this thing, be prepared that you have to do like a lot, a lot of like small little work. You know, mm. it's not like entrepreneur to me is a dirty word. Mm, yeah, right, a lot right. of people don't see what's going on behind the scenes. Right, sure, right, right sure, yeah. Right. You got to do like sourcings, uh, just so many little things that is quite draining. Other mm. than the main work, like you are doing. Is there anywhere in Singapore that you know of that someone can train to be a pit master? Uh, I'm not too sure at the moment. Right, you to okay. train me. YouTube, <laughs> oh, there you go. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Wow, that's YouTube amazing. is like incredible. I have to say because that day my aircon was leaking, right? Yeah. And Singapore has been so hot recently. Yeah, 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 And my aircon service man can only come in like four days later, which I think I will die of the heat. Yeah, yeah. Right, so yeah, I went yeah. YouTube and see how to service aircon. And you did it yourself. I did it. Oh yeah. wow! So I was telling my friends that uh, if this business cannot take off, right? I'll be an aircon technician. Just service aircon. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly, right? YouTube, YouTube can be the best teacher. <laughs> yeah. Oh my okay. goodness. Okay, so fantastic. Thank you for sharing. Uh, uh, you know, it, it's obviously not easy, this life of a pit master. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it obviously shows that you need a lot of passion, yeah. a lot of time, a lot of dedication to it. But now, Martin, it's time for us to try the results of all this dedication. It's time for the taste test. Let's head over to the meats. Yeah. So if, if you're listening to the show and you're hearing this in the background... It's actually That's actually the meat's getting heated up. It's actually the meat's getting it, heated it's up. It's actually smoking right now, but uh, don't worry, it's it's not fire. It's oh, it's really hot, by the way. Oh, oh my wow. goodness! Wow. Oh, look at that. Oh wow! Look at that. It's nice and smoky. Oh Beautiful. my goodness! Beautiful. Okay, can't wait to dig in and try. What should I try first? Um, probably can try the beef cheeks first. The beef cheeks. Okay, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm happy to. Beef cheeks. Okay, must very just hot. Stick your fork in, and put it in your mouth. Tell us. Oh what? my! Oh really? Oh, oh my! <laughs> you don't believe how tender the meat is. Wow! It, the minute you put it in your mouth, it starts to melt. Wow! 
the smokiness of it, you, you can literally taste the, the smokiness, how, how it's been charred and, mm. and cooked. That is spectacular. Wow. And, and James, you use a very special kind of wood, don't you? That's You need a sauce for this thing, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, I, I will try to... So, usually, I'll try to use like post oak and hickory wood for the brisket because mm. it's like a stronger flavor yep, yep, yep. to it. And then for pork, I'll use something lighter. So, that's why I use uh, Canadian maple and uh, US cherry wood. Wow. And I do smoked salmon as well. And nice. that's where I will go into like... Uh, to find the sauce for wood that's related to Asia. Mm -hmm. So, that's where I use lychee and longan wood. <laughs> wow, that wow. sounds amazing. The, 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 the amount of detail that goes into the meats. Okay, yeah. now I've tried the beef cheek. Yeah. Uh, what should I try next? I think you got to try the brisket, man. I yeah. mean, yeah. So you can try the. So here, actually, I had I brought prime brisket for you and mm -hmm. the uh, regular choice brisket that I yep. usually smoke. Okay. Uh, try the regular ones before you go into. Yeah, the I'll prime. save the best right. for last, right. uh, so to speak. Um, I mean, they are called SG. Uh, brisket kitchen after all yeah so you gotta try the brisket okay let me just uh, cut it up into a smaller bite-sized right. piece here we go once again we're on Class 95's Facebook, oh. Facebook Live if Oops. you want to see this oh. but uh, uh, you know you can go to SG Brisket Kitchen I dropped my meat Martin oh dear how can you waste the meat that she brought for you it's okay you can eat it off the floor oh sure <laughs> My oh. word! Oh, it's very seldom that Vernon A exclaims like that when I'm he eats something. I'm not a foodie. Thing. Yeah. But my word! Oh, he's happy. You, you know, to, to describe this colloquially, Yeah, sure. When you eat this <laughs> brisket, right? First of all, you get the tender, you know, meat taste of the brisket. Wow. And then on the edges, uh. you get the wok hey, <laughs> so to speak, <laughs> right? <laughs> the, the, the charred bits at the end. Oh, my word! Amazing. Um, Can I pay you to cook in my house every day? <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. Okay. That, that sounds amazing. No, and that was yeah. the regular locally sourced uh, brisket. Yeah. Yes. Right? No, actually, all the brisket are from US. Yeah. So I'm very particular with my meat. Mm. So I use like grain fat meat and uh, it's just a personal preference. I don't really Got like it. to go for grass fat. Mm. Understood. Mm -hmm. And then, but, but, but this was, uh, you, you said the, the run-of-the-mill everyday brisket, right? Yeah, so like, you know, there's a grading system just like Wagyu. Mm -hmm. So for USDA, right, uh, the top one is prime. Prime grade, yep. best marbling, you know, all the yep. fats, uh, distribution is like so well, so even. Mm. Yeah. Then the second one is the choice grade, which mm. I'm, I'm using it because it's quite difficult to source for uh, prime grade even in the US. Right. Yeah, so the right, right, so right. are tight. what I had, choice grade. Okay. Correct. Now and then I'm now going to move prime. On to the, yeah, oh my prime. goodness. Okay. I think we need to zoom in on the food a little oh, bit more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh, look, look, at look at that. Look at oh, look at my it. goodness. Oh. I, I'm, I'm just trying to cut it out with my fork. Unfortunately, uh, no just, knives are allowed just, in the just, studio just, just because just bite into it. Just bite into it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Just bite okay, into okay. it. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. All right. I, I need to. I need to hear what you think of this uh, prime brisket. Oh. <laughs> wow! 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 It's been a while since I heard Vernon A exclaim like wow, that. Wow! I, I, I don't get this way about food, but yeah, yeah. man, this is some good meat. It is amazing. You're, you're, you're talking about you know experiencing that that that, that level when you go out to a restaurant. How do you describe uh, the better? like like it's almost as if you're you're getting some A5 wagyu. The amount of marbling and fat and meat distribution is wow. incredible in this prime grade amazing uh, USDA uh, brisket. Yeah, amazing. Wow, amazing. Um, Jace, I think I think you've got a winner right here. Oh, I mean, yeah. I've yet I've yet to try it myself. I I I can't I can't eat while doing this, but I, I will try it in a while. But it sounds like you've got a winner right here. Again, if uh, if you're seeing this on Facebook Live, you're listening to this, you can go to SG Brisket Kitchen and Jace will smoke up a storm for you. Amazing. I'm trying the big beans, by the way, Mata. Ah, these are the big beans that are with the drippings and, and all that, right? And I think... <laughs> 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 he, he, he's just, he's lost for words now. I'm officially done with the show. I'm not doing any... <laughs> I'm not going to stand here and eat... The rest of it. Oh my word! Wow. Hey, uh, this has been a fun uh, a return of people in our neighborhood live in the studio. Uh, Jace, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you, thank you guys for having me here too. I think you f you found a new fan uh, in Vernon A for your briskets. She she is my 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 friend for till till for, I die for life. Yeah, for, yeah. for life. Friend for life. Um, uh, and and thank you for coming in today and sharing the life of a pit master. So the twenty over hours she stays up not sleeping to smoke the meats. It's worth all that time. Incredible. I hope she never sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep doing this. Class 95 weather.